If you love cars, and I'm guessing you do, then there's a good chance you'll like the things they go on. Roads. Fast ones, twisty ones, slow ones, muddy ones. You can't beat a good road. And thanks to the magic of Top Gear, I happen to know a few of the best on the planet. Some you can drive tomorrow, others need a bit more planning. Why have you got a carrot? <laughs> All of them took my breath away. You lunatic! So lean forward, turn up the volume, and prepare to book a few days off work. Switzerland. 16,000 square miles of train enthusiasts, overpriced watches, and hundreds of Alps. But not one single racetrack. And that's because after the 1950s Le Mans disaster over in France, some miserable git in Switzerland decided they were gonna ban all motor racing. As a result, there are no proper motoring circuits. But here's the thing, who needs a racetrack when you've got roads like these? It's called the Furka Pass. 23 miles of wriggling, writhing tarmac, slap bang in the middle of the Alps. At the top, it's 8,000 feet above sea level in one of the snowiest parts of the country. And behind me is the Rhone Glacier, the source of the mighty River Rhone. But none of that really matters because the Furka is famous for one thing above everything else. Bond. That's right, this is the exact road where Sean Connery hustled his DB5 through the mountains in pursuit of Auric Goldfinger. But whereas his Aston had six cylinders and 280 brake horsepower, mine has twice that. 12 cylinders, 580 horses, and it's got four seats. Bond would definitely approve. Think about it, man. There's enough room in here for pussy galore. Hello, mates. <laughs> this is the Rapide S, 148 grand's worth of prime British beef. It's a proper Grand Tourer, the perfect weapon for shuttling you and your entourage across Europe, and just perfect for terrifying them once you arrive at what is one of the most dangerous and exciting roads on the planet. If you get it wrong, well, there's probably good news and bad news. The bad news is you're going to die because you're not going to survive a trot. The good news is it'll take you about 15 minutes before you hit the ground, so at least you've got time to bring your wife and... I can imagine that conversation right now. Yeah, love, I've uh, understeered off a mountain. What do you mean again? The Furka was built in 1865 as a military road. Not long after, Queen Victoria visited and banished the locals so she could have these views all to herself. <laughs> I mean, what kind of high and mighty Brit just turns up in a pretty place like this and gets all shouty? Yes! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's too much fun. I want to move to Switzerland, now. There are easier ways to get through these peaks, including a rail tunnel that will take you and your car right underneath the mountain. And that means the road is now used mostly by people who've come for a laugh. Ferraris, camper vans, cross country, skiers, and approximately 4,000 leather enthusiasts who prefer two wheels to four. Oh, hello. <laughs> the Furka Pass is just perfect for this kind of stuff. It's literally mile after mile of hairpins, S's, sweeping bends, and bikers all here to just, just have a laugh. Go 
guys are good fun, man. And I think I know where they might be headed. We come from Barcelona. All the way to here. Yes. All the way to here. All no ferries, no boats. 2,000 kilometers nothing. already. Yes. You're riding a bike, right? Yes. Yeah. So that must be even more dangerous because even in the car, I have plenty of no, no, grip. I mean, Fast and furious. He has, he's yeah. afraid, he's <laughs> afraid so of heights. Sometimes I'm afraid. He's You're afraid of heights. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying this road. I mean, this That's is, amazing. This you can crazy. feel the freedom of driving. So it's cool. magic. You're a pillion passenger. Are you? I'm a back. Are you? Are you scared? <laughs> and, and Michi's passenger. And you're a passenger too. too. I am. Are you guys? Are you guys scared? No, I'm not. Because I'm scared. Right? I'm scared driving around here. I'm scared. You know what we can do? I'll driver, give you my bike. You give me the Aston. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm. Why have you got a carrot? <laughs> <What's this? laughs> Leaving the mad Spanish green grocer to his bike, I hit the road again and began the 700-mile journey home but not before having one last blast on this incredible road, which, as the sun sets and the bike has disappeared, I seem to have all to myself. Lucky? Well, that doesn't even begin to cover it. <laughs> you didn't tell me you weren't good with cows. 